Here's the Rapido 783F on the Fiat New Shape chassis. It's a 2009 on a 59 plate. And this one is a low profile four berth motorhome. We'll just head in a bit closer and take you into the cab. This particular motorhome has done Ten thousand eight hundred miles. Additionally, the motorhome is fitted with air ride uh, cushion suspension, so it makes it a far better ride and far better for motorhomes when you're carrying a bit of weight, etc., in the back of them. Additionally, this motorhome is fitted with security deadlocks, which, when you go to the continent. Um, they tend to stress uh, in all the motorhome magazines. This is quite a good feature to have. It's also fitted with the Fiamma ones on the habitation door and it is fitted with them on both of the garage doors. There's two entry points to the garage on the motorhome. This being the smaller of the two, but still a good access hatch. It has a tow bar with single electrics fitted, ideal for towing accessories, trailers, etc. It has a fold down ladder to give you access to the roof. It has roof bars, so roof, roof uh, boxes, etc., can be added uh, if cross rails are put on. It's got a re colour reversing camera. Just take you in the garage and show you in the garage. In the garage of the motorhome, you've got tie down points, rubber matting in the deepest part of the tray. You've got an external shower, hot and cold. You've got your twin leisure batteries and just some of your electrical boxes etc. There is a light, there's tie down points like I said and there's also a rail at the top so wet clothes, additional clothes can be stored in here also. It's got a Fiamma F45 and that's a 4 meter awning wind out awning. Uh, it's got a Vision Plus, if you can just about see it up the top, a Vision Plus uh, status directional aerial. We'll enter the habitation door. Excuse the feet mark. I was just in the motorhome a little short while ago. Again just an overview of the cab. Um, this, this particular vehicle also has cab aircon and it also has cruise control as well as all the electric pack and it's a proper fitted blinds um, to the front of the cab so there's no popper studs or anything like that all the blinds are there but additionally it does have curtains as well if you wish to pull the curtains round there's small storage up in the low profile over cab area and then as we come round the motorhome you've got plenty of storage cupboards on the near side. The seating area here converts into double bed. This small section here comes out for travelling so the feet can go down and obviously the table opens out so the extra seat there. So you can comfortably sit four people around the table. Both front seats are swivel seats as well so should you wish the seats can be swiveled round um, naturally when not driving to make uh, even more sort of living space. We've got a fridge and separate freezer, Dometic fridge freezer which I've just switched off, someone's playing with it. So plenty of space in there. Opposite the fridge area you have a three burner hob, a decent sized sink. When the sink's not in use, obviously the board on top of it to give you more workspace area. And you have an oven grill. In the back you've got a transverse style bed so it gives you 
good size. Again, with storage lockers around the back and on one side. There's obviously a TV bracket fitted there. So you can have the television in the, in the bed. If I just come back at the bathroom slightly. Wardrobe, which unfortunately this light you're not going to see, so it's not going to be the best. And you have a, a screen here which blocks locks the back of the van from the fr from the front if you had got other guests staying. The all important drinks cabinet up here. And we'll go into the bathroom area. Toilet, sink, separate shower. I can turn the camera around just to give you an idea of size. And you have storage lockers, cupboards, whatever you want to call them in the bathroom. So good size bathroom. Give you a quick general overview again. Of the motorhome. So once again, should you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to give us a call on Perth 01738. 626287 or alternatively if you give us an email at inquiries at dixonsofperth.co.uk Thank you.